Good morning. It's day, I don't even know what. Day number 1311. Been here forever. Just waking up to see the beautiful sunrise. It's hard to capture in the camera, but in person, the colors in the sky are absolutely beautiful. The sun is rising over the horizon. It's quiet out. It's just beautiful. Alrighty, so since we have no power, because like we told you before, you know, rolling power cuts and planned ones, we couldn't make her breakfast. So, <laughs> we got some cereal. The birthday girl should be up any minute. We got her some balloons. I forgot the rest of them, but that's fine. So, I think I hear her climbing up the stairs. Bark it, I want some cereal. Let's see. Hello, who are waiting for you, birthday girl, Miss Thirty Flirty McCurdy? How do you feel? Your first day is thirty. First morning is thirty. I don't know. I feel blessed. I'm thankful. That's Thank good. You guys, so much. This trip was not gonna be possible without you guys being here, sacrificing, spending time. So I love you guys so much. Oh. Um, I don't know. I'm happy. Thirty. Thirty and beautiful. Thirty. Yes. Ready to make moves still, do my thing still. So I'm happy. Thank you guys. I love it here. Yes. The best, best birthday. Definitely you can't leave. Best birthday trip ever. You can't leave here. So. <laughs> like, what a view like that? Views. I mean, like, where are you going? Back to New York where it's snowing? <laughs> I know, I know. But this is just amazing. I love it. And I love you guys. And then we got your gourmet meal ready. It's just prepared. That's why. <laughs> Power cut popping. <laughs> That's true. Your view is your breakfast. I mean, your yeah. breakfast is your view. Alrighty, it's the late morning of I don't even know which day it is, but we're actually heading back down to the beach that has the penguins and then to the private beach that all the locals in the neighborhood go to. One of our neighbors showed us yesterday and it was absolutely gorgeous, like, and so secluded. So we're just walking down the hill from our Airbnb and heading down. To the ocean which is actually freezing by the way while heading to the beach Alrighty. Made it down to the Penguin Beach. The way at the end is, I think, too many people out today, so they retreated behind a little fence, you know, just so they could get their privacy. So we're going to head on over to the private beach instead and come see the penguins later on. Alrighty, we're entering the private beach. Let's hope nobody follows us. There's a large target behind us. Oh, you guys are going there. There's a large tour group ahead of us. We were hoping they were not turning off with us. <laughs> As we head down. As we're walking through, there's a penguin chilling. Hey, boo. We won't disturb you. We're just passing by. Alrighty, we made it to the private beach. There's a lot of stone on the ground, so we're just going to walk slowly. And we are here. Much less populated than the other beaches we've come across. We just walked along some, you know, rocks just to see. Oh, the penguins slide right in. This is the only one going for a dip right now. There has to be only 40,000 penguins left.
already, so we're just hanging out on the side, watching some penguins do their thing. Um, you can't get more than this. We were just at the private beach, Hello. walked along this really narrow oh strip God. of rocks. Yeah. Just so we can see those penguins. That gorgeous. <laughs> Over on that side, let me show you now. That's what I've tried to catch her, I can't yeah. get it. Yeah. Excuse me, can you your phone can do it as well. I'll try. There they are. Stop it for some ice cream. Ooh, there goes my combo being made. Thank you. Okay, I get our combo. Yes, you did. What's your combo? Yes. I got my rum and raisin half and half vanilla. Tanzanian vanilla. Yum. Center City, Cape Town. Of course, I have to go around and through two mountains to get there. But I honestly can't get tired of these views while driving. It does knock me out though, I'll go right to sleep. We're in the Uber because we're headed to my girl's birthday. I went to dinner and uh, I guess party ball. Party ball? Cruise party? Ball. Cruise boats. Not Sometimes that much party, but drinks. We got flown for all by herself. Hey, Flo. Hi. <laughs> so yes, we're just up, glammed up, and ready to go. All right, we're just looking for. Wow. Yeah, right here. Just looking for the boat for Kamisha's party drinks. And then dinner on the pier. So one of these is ours, hopefully the biggest. Alrighty, on the sunset Ooh, crew. Our captain's staring the way. This is behind the sunset. And the sunset is that way somewhere. Beyond all the pillows. Would you like a picture of the pier? Sure, it's so epic. But this is behind the sunset and it's just as beautiful. It's pretty pretty this time. different delectable meats to choose from. Springback, which is like an antelope. Kudo, which is like another antelope. Ostrich, which y'all know. Crocodile, warthog. Zebra, and amongst other meats. But I'm gonna stick to chicken and beef. But this restaurant is very cute, it's very beautiful. Birthday girl, doing what she do. <laughs> so yes, definitely gonna have our first official meal of the night because we are hungry. We had cereal for breakfast. I had a little bit of leftover fish. We went to the beach. We partied in our boat. We, bought, we had champagne and then we bought another bottle of champagne. So we're very hungry at this moment. So yes, it's gonna be delicious. Did you get the antelope, Kamisha? No, I actually got the steak. <laughs> okay, safe choice. I'm such a beef person. Steak and shrimp. Yep. Same, sis, same. <laughs> Alrighty, our first meal of the day. We got our appetizers, wings, wangs, calories. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, I'm like, so I don't know what to do. What's going on? Carrots, and I'm going crazy. All right, dinner was great. This is the pier at night. A lot less people, but it's still very peaceful. The first meal that I will not be going on because I'm too full. So beautiful in the day and at night here. This is what they call this area's BNA, which stands for Victoria and Alfred Waterfront Area. Have a great mall, got Zara HM, everything. Um, bunch of stuff, Ferris wheel, street vendors, the works. And plenty of seabirds.
Good morning, good morning. Waking up to this beautiful view yet again. On my bed, let me get a little closer without actually getting up. Looks like another clear day, which is perfect. So we can head out and play. Alrighty, we just got our tickets to Robin Island. We're finally gonna make it. I was a little nervous, but first off, eat, because we have not eaten today and it's already two o'clock. So, and we're back at b &A. Area. Hopefully we'll dine here because it's a fish market and we are feeling for seafood. Alrighty, so that place looked like it had exquisite food, but unfortunately we don't have that kind of time. So we are at a fish, fat fish grill cafe to be exact. <laughs> So they have some sushi over there, poke bowls, and we got some kind of like fish and chips. But hake fish, hack fish, very popular out here. So it's about to be delicious. Oh, yes, our food is here. Thank you very much. Fried hack sandwich with chips. Fried hack. And she got a sandwich as well. Alrighty, so bad news. Because of the high winds, we cannot go on the Robin Island tour because we have to take a water taxi there and they don't trust the winds. So we're going to try to do tabletop for the third time because that has been canceled due to winds as well all the other days. So we'll see where today takes us. But either way, it's a beautiful day. We look nice. So we'll see. Alrighty, so we didn't make it to Robin Island. We didn't make it to Tabletop Mountain. <laughs> the winds for both excursions were too high and unsafe. So we're back in VA. Waterfronts just walking and shopping. Disappointed that we couldn't make it, but that just means I have to come back to South Africa, Cape Town specifically, very soon because I have to go to Robben Island. So we'll do that. So who wants to come? Just let me know because I gotta come back. Still plenty to see. But today is I don't even know. Today's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. We've been here since Saturday, and we've still done so much. There's still so much to do. All right, and we're back at food. We're at Life Outdoors, breezy, it's beautiful. Just overlooking the water, so we can see the sunset as we dine and have some drinks. Because I did see some yummy drinks come out. Another beautiful sunset over the water. <laughs> so we finally got our food. I got my little baby size paella, but it looks good. We got spaghetti bolognese and prawns with the ones over there. And a few drinks. And we're ready to dig in.
primate and a fifth nice animal. <laughs> so I'm excited for that. So we are headed into town to meet the shuttle at a hotel and then with like a two or three hour ride out to the safari park. We'll be there for a majority of the afternoon and head on back with all the pictures and memories. Maybe I'll meet a few nice animals. So yeah. I'm excited, ready to go. Day six. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we made it to the safari park. We're gonna head in and start. I think we're gonna start with lunch first and then see the animals. That's our van. Hey, Flo. Survive. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is time to sign in first. Alright, first things first. We're gonna have some lunch and then head out to the spy. Nice buffet because I'm hungry. Thanks for covering my drink. If you are. Hmm. Did they have? Oh, they have a little bit of everything. difficult for us to see those ones. But as for those ones which are which we brought in, it will be very easy for us to see those ones because yes of course they are they roam around everywhere. So also guys uh, as I will be driving if you look something or if you, if you can see something please don't hesitate to stop me then we can talk about that one. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen if you look at this land you can see that this land is quite dry mm -hmm. for the past three seasons we haven't received enough rain. All what it means is we are experiencing a very, very serious drought. As for the water here, we are we normally pump it from that pipe there, so that all these animals they can have a better life. As you know, guys, that the water is life. So, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Maxwell, or you can call me Max. M A X. So you missed this part, but here at Aquila. They have the three R's, they rescue animals, rehabilitate animals, and release them. So they're not captives, they're being saved. That's a white mom. <laughs> Whenever I see the baby sitting at the back of the mother, that's a black mom. So guys, the difference between a male and a female rhino is that horn. This one here, lying down on, the, on this side, on the, on the, on the right side, yeah, it's a female. That one there, which is coming from the water, is a male. The difference is that horn. The horn of a female is thin, long and sharp. Okay guys, if you look straight as you go that side you can see right now there's a little baby. That baby is one in one in one month, one week old. Hello beautiful rhinos. How you doing? <laughs> Hi 
Hi, pretty face. A baby and a mommy rhino running. Baby, baby. Mommy and baby. Rhino They feed on grass. They just kill. Okay, now going up the Rocky Mountains to get to the line. A nice lovely ride. Oh, it's nice to see the sunset. African elephant and Asian elephant are those ears. The ears of African elephant are bigger than those of an Asian elephant. And if we can look at the shape of African elephant, also feel the bite of the mosquito. Mm -hmm. The trunk of an elephant, that's the upper lip, that's the hand, that's the nose. <coughs> it has got more than 60 to 80,000 muscles. That trunk can hold up to 8 or 10 liters of water. We also have this big bed. You know guys, what happens in the animal kingdom is totally different from us human beings. In the animal kingdom, all the male animals, they look much better than the females. In this case, 